everybody, I'm Jammer, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today is going to be a part two follow-up video to the video we did last week talking about a bunch of random, smaller quality of life features I'd love to see come to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I went through a bunch of the comments in that video and wrote down a ton of suggestions you guys had for other potential random updates you'd love to see, so that's what we're going to be going through today. All your ideas for other fun, non-holiday re related updates that we want to see to come to the game. But before we get into all that, if you are new here, perhaps consider subscribing. Mr. YouTube told me that only 16% of you that watch are actually subscribed, so we don't want to make him sad. He's just so happy dancing here, and he would be even more ecstatic if you subscribed. It's free, you can always change your mind later, and of course you can expect tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to that. I know it can be kind of annoying sometimes. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. The crafting update. Now, of course, everyone has talked about this a million times over, but bulk crafting. Not that I really craft much fishing bait anymore, but it would be really convenient. When I'm trying to make, for example, a log couch, I can quickly craft the two log chairs necessary for that DIY in one go, rather than crafting each one individually and then crafting the log couch afterwards. Building off that, it would be kind of cool to be able to craft as well as customize something at the exact same time. Because more often than not, I'll craft something and immediately be needing to customize it afterwards to make it a different color to match with the project I'm working on. So it'd be great to be able to just do that conveniently right in one go if you have the correct amount of customization boxes in your inventory. But speaking of inventory, why not just make it easier and let you be able to access the materials in your home storage while crafting in your house? More often than not, I'm often crafting in my house anyways, so that whenever I'm missing some materials, I can grab a few from my storage. But why not just streamline it right there and let me access all the materials I already have stored up and be able to craft it all right at the bench? The fence update. This is a small silly update, but it would be really cool to be able to have the fences be different colors than the ones that we have currently. Matter of fact, when the game was first revealed back at E3, in some of the pre-release footage, we actually saw a common fence type colored white. Now, of course, maybe that was just the original color that it was going to be when they were early in development and was later changed to the regular wood that we see here in the game. But it would be really cool if we were able to actually use customization boxes on the fences we create. Change the color of the different wood types, the color of the metal on the iron fence. There's a lot of opportunity to making the fences a bunch of different colors that would really add to a lot of variety in using them. The style update. New Horizons did do a great job when it comes to player customization, being able to access the customization whenever you want, change up your look, skin tone, hair, and facial features on a whim whenever you want is a really convenient feature. They also did a pretty good job offering more diverse hairstyle options, but I'd love to see even more. Let's get some more curly haired options and other different varieties of colors that you can select from. I wonder if we might see that with a later Shampoodle update where she could bring along new styles you could unlock for your character creator. The Dodo Airlines update. Everyone knows that Orville is a bit of a chatterbox when it comes to his dialogue in this game. So it would be really convenient to have a faster use to the menu. Rather than having to dig three layers deep to access inviting someone as a Dodo code, it'd be really great to have more options on the initial menu, like Nook Mile Ticket, Play Online, Play Local, Visit via Dodo Code, Invite via Dodo Code, Open My Gates, Harv's Island. I'm not saying strip his dialogue entirely, but I think there's definitely a way to make it a little bit more convenient. That way, if you want to open up to a public Dodo Code, you can do it in a matter of two dialogue boxes, rather than clicking through Play Online, invite via dodo code invite anyone are you sure you want to invite everyone it's a lot to go through when you're trying to bring people to your island and when it comes to multiplayer it would be really nice to be able to access your home inventory storage while at another friend's island this was a feature actually in New Leaf where if you went back to the train station and opened up one of the cubbies you could actually access your home storage right there It'd be really convenient to be able to access some of your stuff in your home inventory at a friend's island in case you have like the perfect gift for an area there or you forgot something when you came over to their town. The Roost Update. This is a little bit of a bigger update than the random ones we've already been talking about, but I think it'd be really cute to see the return of this shop. I think it's more likely for it to be another addition to the museum, similar to like how we had the second floor added in with the art exhibit update. And I think with the roost, we could see the return, of course, of your daily coffee as we've seen in previous games. But I'd also love to see the option to be able to buy through a daily rotating inventory of the little snacks all your villagers eat. How cute would it be to be able to pick up a little donut from the roost and go on a little date with one of your villagers snacking on a couple of donuts together. They would just be so adorable. 
the gyroid update. It was yet another strange omission here in Animal Crossing New Horizons, which was a staple of the series prior. And before you say, oh, there are gyroids in the game, okay, look, Lloyd doesn't count. Lloyd is a gyroid, but there isn't collectible furniture item gyroids that you can get in the game. In previous titles, gyroids were these really weird clay kind of figures that you could find buried throughout in your town, similar to how you can find your fossils each day. And not only do they sell for a decent amount of money, but each of them have a bunch of really funky looking designs. The unique feature about these gyroids was the fact that when you would interact with them, they would start to dance, each one having their own unique sound that they would make. And what was fun is if you actually had some music playing from a jukebox nearby, playing any sort of KK song, the gyroids would actually dance and play their sound effect in tandem with the song. So you could get a whole percussion going of a bunch of different gyroids dancing to the music. Like I said, it is a very strange omission that was not here in Animal Crossing New Horizons that I'd love to see come back so we can collect them again. The furniture update. There is a ton of furniture in Animal Crossing New Horizons and a wide variety of different pieces you can collect and put in your house. One thing I will say that I do appreciate is a lot of them are pretty neutral and can be mixed and matched. So you can get away with putting a bunch of different kind of stuff in the same room and making it all still feel very uniform. But there was one thing that was really charming about previous Animal Crossing titles was of course the furniture sets. Now don't get me wrong, there's a couple of furniture sets here in New Horizons. The fruit set, the mermaid set, the ironwood kitchen set, but a lot of the iconic classic furniture sets that were in previous games did not return here. The ranch set, the cabin set, the astro set, the robo set, the blue set, the cute set. There have been a ton of unique furniture sets that were in every other entry in the series prior that didn't return here for some reason. So I'd love to see a full-blown furniture update bringing a ton of these iconic furniture sets back here in New Horizons. In addition to that, I could see them as well as with this update, providing yet another upgrade to Nook's Cranny. Perhaps maybe not all the way to Nooking Tins just yet, until eventually if we want to see some sort of Gracie Grace update, but the point being is if we do get a furniture update with tons of new furniture coming to the game, it would be great to have Nook's Cranny have more of a bigger selection available of furniture to buy from. The Rug Update. I didn't really know where else to put this, but I just want to be able to put rugs outside in my town. There's such a wide variety of super adorable and cute rugs that Sahara sells in this game, and there are tons that I could see fitting perfectly outside in my town. So as like we talked about in part one, where if they did update to bring like that top-down editing that's inside your house outdoors in your town, if a feature like that does come to the game, I'd love to see the ability to place rugs outdoor as well. The Angled Path Update. And again, this is about as straightforward as it sounds. Why not give the option to actually be able to do angled paths, rather than having to round a bunch of the corners, do some sort of weave between two different patterns. It just gives us the ability to be able to flatten it out and make our paths on the diagonal. Anyways, that is all the ideas for the random updates I had, as well as the ones you guys put in the comments of part one. But I'm curious, do you have any ideas for smaller random updates that we didn't talk about in either part one or part two of these videos? definitely let me know that in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big awesome like, and if you haven't already, definitely subscribe for tons more on Animal Crossing New Horizons. As a reminder, we do stream this game every weekend at 10 a.m. Eastern right here on YouTube Live that's Saturdays and Sundays. We have so much fun having you guys on my island working on big projects. It's a ton of fun, so I highly encourage you to come on by. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter as well as Instagram to keep up to date with everything we do with the channel, as well as join our community Discord, the link to that is in the description below. It's a great place to find friends to play Animal Crossing with and geek out about other Nintendo games. So I think that's about everything for me for now. Thanks guys again so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!